hi and welcome back once again to our sap business one sales series so we'll be continuing we'll, we'll continue from where we stopped when we created a sales blanket agreement into um, a sales quotation but just right before we create our sales quotation i would want us to look at and talk a little bit about what the sales quotation is because i find it fun that we talk about what the sales quotation is or what each func functionality is just before we move into it so what is a sales quotation the sales quotation is a document that allows a potential buyer or a customer to view the costs involved in purchasing specific services or an item so down here we can be able to click on the sales quotation and then when we click on the sales quotation we should be able to pull in our customer from the customer master data i recall that i told you we chose the microchips because i love microchips as our customer so we pull in the microchips and this automatically fills in other fields like the name of the customer and the contact person who is judy brown and then we have the business partner currency so down here we have the status as open and then the posting date is today and then the, this is the document date and then it's valid to this very date so there was something i was supposed to show us in our last video that i forgot to show us so let's come down here and then copy um, from our sales blanket agreement into our sales quotation the agreement that was had with our micro chips so we click on copy and then when we click on copy we click on blanket agreement and then we'll click on blanket agreement we click on choose and then we draw all data into from our sales blanket um, agreement down here into the sales um, quotation so what i was supposed to show us in our last video was um, how the unit price over here gets affected if it falls uh, before or after the end date of the sales agreement so we haven't seen this let's come up here and then change the posting dates for this and then the validity date also so we click this over here and then we put it to 21st and then we click this and then let's say we put this to 21st so automatically yeah you see how the unit price for this over here has been affected it reverts back to the original normal price because it does not fall within um the posting date start date and then the end date for this so let's go back here and then change the posting date for this back to um 22nd and then let's change this also back to 22nd and then let's click on the blanket agreement for each line item which is this we chose it and then we see boom the price is also changed back to what falls within the posting starting date and then the end date for this so just to mention just to mention there are other small little tips that are made available to you from um, SAP Business One. Let's not forget that the fields in SAP Business One are always consistent. So this over here is a grid view and then we also have a form view which captures a lot of them, um, um, which enables us to be able to add additional fields into um, this grid view over here. So let's take for instance, we have this line item over here. Let's select this and then we want to see right click on this and then we click on the row details clicking on the row details exposes us to or shows us a lot of fields that are being made available that initially we couldn't see so we scroll down and then we can be able to interact um, with this with these different fields if we want to we can be able to close this but let's say we want some of these fields let's say like the warehouse or the delivery date added or deleted we can be able to come down here to the form view or form settings click on this and then let's click on the table format and then let's scroll down and then let's look for let's look for let's look for actually the warehouse we scroll up scroll up scroll up this is the warehouse over here 
it's both visible and active if we click on this it renders this guy over here that is the it renders the warehouse visible but not interactive because it's not active but let's say we take this guy out and then we click on the delivery date we click on this and then these are the over here we raise this guy over here and then we click on ok the moment you click on ok boom those fields are removed from our grid view over here so i've created a sales quotation we can be able to come down here and then click on uh click on add new haven't add haven't clicked on the add new it therefore means that our sales quotation has been created so we can be able to click on the last um, data record which brings this guy back over here and then we can be able to click on copy and then click on to the sales order so this brings us uh, down to the end of how the sales quotation is being created in SAP Business One. So thank you very much for your time. That's all from me today. You can join in in our next video series to see how the sales order is being created and being made to interact with the sales quotation and how the sales order is being made to pull in one or two sales quotation together. So you can be able to find out more content from us across our various social media platforms and you can also be able to subscribe please do make sure you subscribe to our channel and then turn on your post notifications so that you receive the gling gling bell when we drop new videos and then new contents for you thank you and bye